Hey gang, so I've been reading on the Longer Nano Facebook group just how some people are having a problem connecting uh, LaserBurn, which is Longer's uh, mobile phone app, to the Nano Pro. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a shot myself, and uh, if there are any pointers or anything that I pick up along the way, I'm going to share those uh, with you as well. Um, if you've been having problems connecting, maybe this video will help you. So. Uh, let's jump onto my mobile phone and we'll download the app and we'll get going. So I have an iPhone, so I'm just going to jump into the Apple Store here and type in LaserBurn. That's the name of uh, Longer's mobile phone app for the Nano Pro. Uh, here it is, second one down, and we'll go ahead and install it. And it's once it's installed, you just open it up, and oh, we are greeted with the user agreement privacy policy. Be sure to read that. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna hit agree, and we come into the interface. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to hit that button that says not connected with the red Wi-Fi with the line through it, and get connected to the Nano. But that reminds me, uh, I am not connected to the longer Nano's Wi-Fi, and so. I have to do that first. So I'm gonna jump back into my Wi-Fi settings on the iPhone and look for the Longer Nano uh, wireless network. There it is. The password, according to the manual, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks like that worked. So, so now my phone is connected to the Nano uh, via Wi-Fi and I'm gonna jump back into the LaserBurn app. Uh, and this is where I'm going to hit that button that says not connected and I'm gonna to try to connect uh, but this is where I run into my first problem. And the first problem with connecting to the Longer Nano is it needs uh, permissions for location services. You know, when I installed the app, it asked if it could have location, my location. And I told it, no, I don't, I don't see any reason why you need that. But apparently they do, because if location services is off, it will not work. So you can see here on the, on the iPhone, this is found in, you go to your, uh, to your settings, you wanna find the privacy and security settings and then location services and scroll down and find the app um, laser burn you can see mine set to never right now um, I'll just click on that and we'll just switch that to while using the app so if you if you did not give it location services this is the first thing you're gonna bump up against um, it needs permissions to use your location um, while it's firing up. So if you if you gave it permission when you installed it, no problem. So once I come back in, um, LaserBurn is going to want to find and connect other devices on the network. Yeah, I want to let it do that. So I go ahead and say OK. And that's when I run into problem number two, uh, which is my VPN. So if you're like me and you run a VPN, um, you're probably going to have to shut that off. I disabled mine and not only did I disable it, but I uh, reset the laser. I turned it off, turned it back on, and also reset the app. Um, and then when I came back in, I typed in the IP address. This is the one they give you from the manual. You can see it down at the bottom there, 192.168.0.1. And I hit connect. And finally, uh, I'm able to connect to the Longer Nano Pro. And um, you can toggle that little button there that says auto, auto connect. That will keep it so that you can um, you can just automatically reconnect to it. You don't have to do that again the next time that you open up the app, which is pretty handy, uh, especially if you had problems connecting to it in the first place. But um, we are connected, and so now that we're connected, um, we can hit the uh, back arrow here, and we can go back to our main interface. And and from here we're going to go into creation, which is uh, kind of familiar if you're used to using Lightburn. Looks kind of light burn e um, in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the little album button because I have a little picture in my photo there of a lion. Uh, Go Detroit Lions. I'm gonna pull that into the software. Here it looks like I can flip it or do whatever. I'm just gonna leave it and just say done. So there it goes. Uh, it's in the software now. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna size it up a little bit um, just to make it a little bit bigger and we can go ahead and hit the next button from there uh, warning okay we'll confirm that trying to keep us safe actually though i have to jump back a screen because i forgot to uh, set my settings 
So that's not going to do us very good. So I'm jumping back to the creation screen. Uh, I'm going to hit this layer button here. And this is where we can set all our settings. So I have the Nano Pro. And so the speed I'm going to set to 10,000. This is just what I typically use for uh, Birch. And I'm going to set the power to 80%. That's all I'm going to change in here. It's set to engrave, uh, which is what we want. So now I can go ahead and hit next again. And hit next again. Um, I like this because you can turn the laser focus on from here. You typically, I press the button on the machine, but I can actually press it there. And I can actually raise or lower uh, the laser right from within the app as well. So that's kind of handy for... Uh, just for getting your focus set right. And then, uh, man, I framed. Look at that frame. That's that's more of a frame you'd find, uh, you'd expect from a Galvo laser. I've only been using late burn, and so uh, I only kind of get the, the laser beam that wants to move around. Uh, so that's pretty handy. So once we have it framed in, and it looks good, um, from this end, we're going to go ahead and hit start. You can see there's a little... Uh, there's a little kind of timer along with a status bar on the bottom that just kind of lets you know how far uh, your burn has gone and uh, how much you can, ex you know, how long you can expect it to take. So let's jump back to uh, our burn here and we'll watch, uh, we'll watch as the Nano Pro just kind of etches out our lion. Well, there you have it, gang. Uh, hopefully that video was helpful to get your uh, laser burn app connected to your uh, longer Nano or Nano Pro. Uh, until next time.